Dr. Maurer again. Uh, I'm just going to take a few minutes of your time today. Uh, we've been basically on the subject of being outdoors and uh, getting your exercise and getting your vitamin D. And I'm going to stick with that a little bit today. Um, Dr. Josh, Dr. Matt, they also talked about ticks. And we're also, we have a handout here in the office this week about ticks. So if you haven't watched that video, make sure you, you get on YouTube and, and watch the both of them talk about ticks how to try to avoid them, how to find them, how to get rid of them. Uh, on a personal note, I went tick hunting about three weeks ago and I was able to catch at least one. Uh, it was right around the waist, waistband area. Uh, I think I caught it fairly quickly though. Took it out and like they mentioned in the video, um, you know, ticks like certain areas of the body. Um, they also get to a point where they're traveling and they get to a point where they can't go any further because there's certain clothing in the way, so they, they're around waistbands, around sock lines, inseams of, of shirts. So make sure you're, you're checking really well, like they mentioned. Um, also, when you're taking it out, they talked about pulling straight out. Maybe if you, if you need to, have someone else do it and then dispose of it. Myself, I did a little bit of catch and release, took it out, dropped it in the toilet, gave it a little swim, uh, and that's how I got rid of mine. But yeah, make sure you check out that video. Very good. And also, if you're in the office, make sure you get that handout. Uh, what I'd really like to say, though, is great job to most of you for getting outdoors. I'm having a lot of patients telling me all the different things they're doing outdoors. Uh, they're even excited about the fact that they were they were doing yard work, putting out mulch. You know, the weather's finally to where we're not getting as much rain, so people can actually get outdoors and enjoy it. Um, so that's a big, big deal, especially when we were talking so much on our last podcast about vitamin D. Uh, I've also noticed not just having patients tell me, but with my keen physician eyes, I'm also able to visualize that people have been outdoors a lot more because they're coming in and their faces are bright red or their foreheads. And I see their arms and they're like this close to being blister level. So that's something else I've noticed. So great job getting outdoors. I feel like maybe we have a few people, uh, I don't know, maybe I need to talk about moderation. We have a few people I know with other things who, if we tell them this is good, a little bit of this is good, well, a lot of it must be even better. So I just wanna remind people that even though it's so important right now to get that vitamin D, a great way to get it naturally is outdoors. We still don't wanna stand out in the sun all day long uh, without at least having some type of protection. So. Just some reminders, if you're able to find shade, let's say you're reading a book, you decide to go out the doors, you can hang out in the sun for a little bit, but after a while, try to find yourself some shade, whether it's a tree or a overhang. Also, think about clothing. Now, I know some people are out there just for the purpose of getting that sun, they want to get a tan, but if you're out fishing for long periods, things like that, make sure you wear proper clothing even you know if you wear something like this it's long sleeves but it's this the wicking material you'll be a little bit warm but at least slightly uncomfortable but at least you're blocking that sun i know a lot of uh companies make uv protected clothing as wear as well so uh, you can check that out uh sunscreen of course multiple applications a hat especially for someone like myself and then the other big thing would be um sunglasses most people think about that but some don't and we also have to worry about our eyes as well when it comes to those uv rays so those are my recommendations uh so continue to get outside we love it we love seeing it Let, listen to your uh, stories is great but just take it in moderation don't forget that so that's what i have today um if you have any questions or comments make sure you let us know or, or leave them down below um, the video thank you